Welcome back to another episode of Set the Tatter Films Presents 2021 Draft Prospects. Uh, today's video, which seems like I hadn't done a video in a month, but I know it hadn't been that long, but just seems that way, is about uh, Quiddy Pay, defensive end, uh, edge guy rather, from uh, University of Michigan. Number 19, pretty athletic guy, but um, you know, let's just get straight into the film. Roll the intro. All right, a few things about Quiddy Pay, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Um, 6'4", 272 pounds. Uh, actually played all four years in um, at Michigan. So, there should be some senior bowl film out there on, on Quiddy. Um, I think it is out there. It's senior bowl film is tougher to find in all 22 film, but I think it is some out there. Um, a few stats from his senior year. He only played in four games. Uh, Michigan had um, – situations with testing and whatnot so they, they didn't play a lot of games uh had 12 solo tackles uh four tackles for loss two sacks but his junior year which was you know was the last normal year of football so far he had played in 12 games had uh 12 and a half tackles for loss six and a half sacks uh he don't have outstanding numbers but his athleticism makes up for that and uh let's just dive right into it so you can see his athleticism for yourself but if this is your first time here, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when these drop because this is a random video. And this one is being filmed at the watch is dead. 9.25 in the morning. So they come out randomly. The best way you can keep up with them is to hit the notification bell. And for everybody that supports on the Patreon, I appreciate it. It's Cash App, I appreciate it. And uh, PayPal, I appreciate you. Now, here we go. Quitty pays number 19, and this is not the greatest film I could find, but, you know, we're going to work with what we got and see if we can, um, you know, make it work for everybody. This is him here. Where are my notes? Where are my notes? Okay. I'm going to run through it, and I'm going to talk about it, like, as always. All right, nothing spectacular there, but what it says to me is, Either he's been coached well or he's extremely disciplined. Watch how he keeps his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage with that J sweep. Because he has quarterback. Eyes on the quarterback. Eyes on the quarterback. Shoulder square. Eyes on the quarterback. All right, quarterback don't have it. Now I can go chase it down. It's discipline. Or well coached. Or a combination of both. Discipline or well coached or a combination of both. He know he has quarterback. He's quarterback player. Just, just sitting now. Good job. So if the quarterback had kept this ball, now he has a direct path to go get it. Great discipline right there. He's going to play two. All right, pay is here. Right there. And I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I hate when I mess up people's names. Like I messed up uh, Tryon's name. I called him. Uh, Tyron or something like that. I hated that. But again, um, pay is here. And this may be one of the slowest spin moves I've ever seen. Taking the inside leverage, which is good. Runs into a double. So it, it really, you know, he's trying to do a little little game with the um, with the nose tackle, with the one tick. A little stunt. Trying to take out 78. But then, and I don't know if he meant to spin, but just looking at it without slowing it down, this, that's the slowest spin move with arrow. <laughs> now they do, the uh, other guy knocks the ball down, which, you know, the, the purpose of the play, it works because, the, you know, it's a deflection or whatnot. But I'm just, I just originally saw this spin move like, man, that's slow. But it does the job. Takes on the guard, and the tackle is still following him because the, he's kind of man blocking, which allows the nose to loop around and get to the pass deflection. So it's a good job. Just, the spin move just was slow. I thought it was funny. Maybe you guys did. All right, play three. Here's where we get into the, the, the meat and potatoes of it. 
This is gonna translate to the to, to the next level right here. Watch this. Get out of the way. That's gonna translate to the next level. Shade and blocking. Shade and blockers. Shade and blockers. There we is right there. Tell me put in slow motion. They're trying to run outside zone at him. He has the edge. Gets rid of the tackle. And makes the tackle. High level football right there. High level football. And that's just, and he didn't do anything special. He just used leverage and strength. Use leverage, watch how much lower. He, he's low man wins. He's under the tackle. Presses him out. So now he can see where the ball is and gets rid of him. Not only does he get rid of him, like get off of him, this tackle's on the ground. Look at him. As Vach say, finish your food. He's on the ground. Pays in the backfield making the tackle. It's a great play right there. Great play. Let's go to play four. Play four. Let's find it. Here, I think. Okay. Let me highlight them for you. And again, this film quality is not the greatest, so sorry. But it's the best I can find on, on, on pay. Mm. Same tackle. <laughs> but this tackle had a long day. Well, he's just going to destroy this kid. Coming off the edge from a wide, like, nine technique. Trying to pass rush. Tackle trying to get back there. He just takes him and hits him with, and and don't hang me for this. But this kind of looks like a lower budget version of Reggie's White. Reggie White's club. I'm not saying this is, I'm not comparing him to Reggie White. So don't get your, your panties in a wad. I'm saying this little club move is similar to Reggie's. And if you don't believe me, go back and look at Reggie's club. The only difference is if this was Reggie White clubbing this dude, he would have clubbed him back there to where that B is on the field and not just right by the G. But it's similar. Used the strength, knocked him out the off balance. You know, had not been a quick throw, he'd have had a um, sack or something. Definitely a pressure. But I just put this in and showcase the strength. Now, again, I'm not comparing Quiddy Pay to Reggie White. Do not add, put words in my mouth or twist my words or none of that. All right, next. Play five. Nope, no. Nah, play five. Not one or two or three. All right, here we go. Let's find them. Pay is here, I think, at, at edge on the left. going on here okay there we go there he is mm, look at that jump cut kind of move like a running back that jump cut looks like a running back jump cut athleticism quick how many interior linemen going to be able to handle that that quickness like that ooh he didn't even he not even touched I didn't realize that at first. He's not even touched. That jump cut so quick, he's not even touched. That's running back S from a defensive, from an edge guy. Pause. Let's see. Start with the outside move. Mm. He tackled completely Wilson. The guard still on 96. The center whiffs him. That's, that's elite quickness right there from an edge guy. It's elite quickness. That's, that matter of fact, I won't say that again. That, that's, that's crazy. Choo, choo. The only, only thing I would have liked to see him do, let's see if we can find it. See if I can pause it when it, when it gets to it. All right. Now, right here, as he, stop moving, as he, I guess my trackpad about to die, as he loops in here, I would have liked to see him dip his shoulder. Let me get this thing some juice so it won't stop, start acting funny on me. 
Give me one sec, fellas and ladies. All right, so maybe we're working out. Okay, there we go. Now we good. All right, I would have liked to see him dip that shoulder past this center to make sure the center can't get anything on it. That's the only thing I can say about it. Like right here, dip that shoulder past that. And I don't know if you can see it because it's the quality of this film. But dip that shoulder past that, that arm reaching out right there. And then you'd be even cleaner getting to the quarterback. But that's that's nitpicking. That's nitpicking. That's a good play. That's a good play. Play six. Uh, pay is on the right side, on the edge. Right side of your screen. Here. Let's see what we got. Going back to when we talked about Aziz Ojolari, and we talked about how he would take pullers and just give them the business. This is one of those instances where I think Pay has a chance to give the puller the business and close the gap down. And he 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 closes it, closes it some, but he doesn't like the physicality of seeing this guy coming and and laying the smacking down on him. He just does it. And I don't know if he even sees him. Let's see. His eyes are on the mesh point. Mesh point. He has to see him right now. Has to see him come across. You know what? I don't even think he sees him. Because his eyes are on the quarterback. Eyes on mesh point. Eyes on mesh point. Eyes on mesh point. I thought he peaked. Maybe he didn't. I was definitely on the quarterback now. Just didn't see him. Just didn't see him. I, and I initially thought this was, and call him being soft, but I just thought he should have saw that puller and, and banged on it. But this is a even more disciplined play than I thought. It's an even more disciplined play than I thought. So really, the negative should be on this guy running the, um, the split zone. This guy, this circle right here, because. Pay doesn't see him. He should widen him out, and the hole should be right off of his his block on Pay. Because Pay's like earlier, we talked about him playing quarterback, which is what he's doing. Shoulders are square, so if the quarterbacks pull it, they stay square. So this dude should have banged him out, unless this is his assignment. But another good play for 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 uh, Pay because you know doing his assignment, he got quarterback. He on quarterback. Look at his eye. Right there. On quarterback. This one. Or well coach. Or a combination of both. But even then, once he sees that um the ball, the quarterback doesn't have a ball, he falls in and try to make the tackle. Falls in and try to make the tackle. Doesn't get in on it, but attempts. Doesn't just give up on the play. Doesn't just say, hey, the quarterback's my guy. He don't have the ball. I'm, I'm good. I did my job. Tries to do a little extra. Right, my guy don't have the ball. Get in here and get on the tackle. Pursuit. Nothing wrong with that. Play seven. He is on the right side of your screen again. Let's see what we got. Showing a little versatility. Let's go ahead and play a little nose tackle. Go ahead and play some zero. I know he's going to be way more athletic than the, than the center. Psych. Let me drop up out here. Versatility. Versatility. I'm going to drop down and play some nose, which he's done before in pass rush situations. Drop down and play nose and kind of abuse some centers. So this center was all ready for it. Let me just drop out. Let me get the back. So the tight end, who is that? Tight end? They try to let middle screen, maybe. Drop out. And so I think at this point he's the spy. I think he's spying. And then once he sees this ball thrown, he just goes and makes the tackle. Spying the QB. Fast enough to be a, a, a so not fast enough. Let's, let's, let's talk about this real quick. That's the last play. So let's talk about the, the positives real quick. Uh, extremely athletic, extremely strong. Well, I say extremely strong. He looks extremely strong in this video. Uh, versatility, being able to play the, the five, the three, and the zero. Um, athleticism on pass rush, athleticism, well, not athleticism, football IQ uh, when performing stunts, 
um, the ability to spy and and possibly cover uh, certain areas of the field. I'm not gonna put him in a say he can play man, but I'm sure he can spy QBs and drop in the flats and drop in the hook curves and stuff like that. Um, just just a, a look like a good football player. I mean, he's disciplined. He's smart. The thing that stands out to me is the fact that he can jump in there and play zero and nose and still be as quick as a running back type player to completely be untouched. The two plays that stood out to me in this film were the, the shed play where he just got rid of the tackle and pretty much body slammed him. And then the play, the, the jump cut play when he did the little um move on the tackle and ended up going through the A-gap. That's you don't see that in guys that play in the front seven hardly. And the guys that you do see that out of end up being stars. Not to say Quiddy Pay is going to be a star, but I think the ability for him to be a star is there. Uh, with the right sit, right, not right sit, the right system, um, proper coaching, and, and him just wanting it and doing the things it takes to, to be a guy, I think Quiddy Pay is one of the better D linemen in this draft. And then that's my analysis on uh, Quiddy Pay. Um, I got about nine to ten guys done. Uh, it's probably be the last video of Edge Guys, but I got to look at some more so I can put my top nine together. And um, it's going to be some surprises in there. It's going to be some surprises in there. But I appreciate you guys for rocking with me, man. This is Coach Evans with Vitality Films. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh won't take me as long to come back to y'all this time. All right. Peace.